But talking of money and waste of money as well, uh, Tory peer Baroness Michelle Moan's car crash interview with BBC's Laura Coonsberg rumbles on. The businesswoman was quizzed about her links to PPE MedPro, which secured lucrative government contracts during the pandemic after Moan allegedly lobbied ministers on their behalf. Have a look and a listen. Michelle, it does feel like the truth has had to be dragged out here. Not really, Laura, because no? the only thing I'd say to you is the only error that I have made is say to the press that I wasn't involved. I don't honestly see there's a case to answer. Um, I can't see what we've done wrong. I didn't. Well, I mean, it was quite an astonishing interview. Some people are saying that she's not really done anything wrong, you know, it's capitalist society and she's willing to, you know, make a bit of money off it. What do you make of, of it all? Well, it, I mean, she's a shocker. I mean, she's a shocker. After all, she's a baroness. She passes laws which we then have to follow. Now, look, it was it was a wild west chase for 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 all the PPE stuff. But honestly, that's now being investigated by the National Crime Agency. It's not her. It's her husband. It's also being they're going through the courts to try and get their money back. This was a one hundred and twenty two million pound deal, which had a 60 million pound profit. And she said she had nothing to do with it. It was a, a her boyfriend at the beginning. She eventually marries the guy. Of course, she has something to do with it. And so she is kept away from the House of Lords. And I admire that junior energy minister. Uh, Lord Callaghan, who said, actually, she should keep away. And honestly, do you know what I'd love to see from Uncle Sunak saying, do better than keep away, we're kicking you out. I want this to happen. Just say what, the whole, the whole country went through a very difficult period. The fact that somebody made some money, that's fair enough. When they made 60 million quid for stuff that didn't even work, and actually she couldn't even own up to it, that is not right. And so I'm afraid, Baroness Moan, please stay on the Isle of Man, and keep away from our country. All right, Kelvin, thank you very much. Strong stuff as ever. That was, of course, former editor of The Sun, Kelvin McKenzie. I know that Baroness Moan has been incredibly vocal, especially on social media as well. She denies wrongdoing, etc., to an extent.